Welcome to another math episode. Today, we are going to go over four reference angles questions. Before we start, just make sure you like and subscribe. I promise it'll be worth it. And also, if you want to jump to a specific question, hit that description box and it'll jump to one. Anyways, what the heck is a reference angle, right? A reference angle is just the angle between the terminal side. So this is your terminal side, that blue arrow right there and the x-axis so easy way to draw this all you have to do is go from the tip of your terminal side all the way to your x-axis it makes a triangle right here and the reference angle is theta which is this the opening of that triangle so we're trying to find that when you start this problem don't worry that this is negative just look at 230 you want to check if that is over 360 and if it's not over 360 then it's super easy, check it out. You start at zero and traveling through one quadrant, this is quadrant four, is 90 degrees. So far this is 90, right? And then I travel another quadrant and it's a full quadrant. So that's 180 so far. So all I have to do is find this little piece right here. And it's really easy to find, don't use a negative number. All you have to do is take 230 degrees and subtract 180 and you'll get this little piece right here that we need 230 minus 180 equals 50 so theta equals 50 and that is your answer that is your reference angle that's not too bad let's check out what it looks like when it is over 360. all right when something is over 360 it just means that it traveled more than one full circle so the first thing i'd like to do is take 640 and i divide it by 360. That's gonna determine how many full circles I traveled within that degree measurement. 640 divided by 360 is one and some change. I mean, we don't really need to pay attention to that 0.7. I just need to look at that one. That means I have one full circle that I traveled and you can kind of see it right here. There's my one full circle. That's my 360. So 640 is really just 360 and some change. And in order to figure out that change, I just take 640 minus 360 and I need to travel 280 more degrees to travel the full 640, 280. We don't need to pay attention to that 360. We just need to pay attention to the 280 because that's the measurement from here. Not really great at drawing circles all the way to up there. My reference angle is the tip of my terminal all the way to the x-axis right here. So I'm trying to find that opening. From the beginning all the way to this y-axis, that is already 90, right? And then we do it again, so that's 180. Then I have another full quadrant, so I'm at 270. And how far is 270 from 280? You don't need a calculator. You know that this little dinky piece right here is 10. But that's not your answer. That's just the 280 that I traveled right here in my not so great circle. All right, now look at that picture. If this is 10 and we're trying to find this, the whole thing equals 90. So all you have to do, I mean, you could, you probably figured it out by now, but the math behind it is just take 90 and subtract 10 and your theta or reference angle is 80 degrees. Kabam, not too bad. Let's practice it again, but this time you have to draw the diagram with me. Negative 330, it just means I'm going this way instead of counterclockwise. So don't worry about that negative. You just have to focus on what direction to begin with. The second thing I wanna check is if that is more than 360, and it's not, so this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna draw my circle to the best of my ability. So, so far that's 90. I need to cover up to 330. So I keep going and half a circle is 180. I have to keep going and now I'm at 270. To figure out how far 270 is from 330, I can just subtract 330 minus 270 and I get 60 degrees. So I just have to travel 60 more degrees right here. And that is my terminal side. I have to find the reference angle. So your answer is not 60. Do not put 60. You just have to go from the tip of your terminal side all the way to the x-axis, just like that. And now you gotta just ask yourself, in this quadrant, that equals 90, right? If I take away 60 from 90, then I will get my reference angle, which is 30 degrees. 
final answer. And hopefully you'll understand it after this last one. You wanna see how many 360s fit in 495 and you can kind of do the mental math. You know that there's only one full circle in there. That's gonna be 360 and some change. And to figure out that change, just take 495 minus 360 and I'm at 135. From here, you know that it went full circle once. 135 degrees. So I have to travel 135 more and I know that's gonna be over 90. So that's my 90 mark. But it's gonna be less than 180. So just take 135 and subtract 90 and you'll figure out how much more you have to go. I have to go 45 more degrees. 45 and 90 is 135. There's my terminal side right there. And now if I draw my triangle, I just take the tip of my terminal side, go all the way down to the x-axis and theta represents the inside of that triangle. I'm trying to find out this degree measurement. And that's pretty easy. If this is 45, some people can already tell that the answer is going to be 45 degrees because 45 and 45 makes that 90. Don't forget to like and subscribe if I helped you and I will see you on the next episode. Peace.